Hey everyone, it's Eric here. Uh, today I am excited uh, to test out a brand new uh, product from, the, from a company called OptiSolex. Uh, this is the uh, 400 watt solar bag kit. It's a 400 watt solar bag panel uh, that actually you can unzip it into two 200 watt panels, which is super neat. Uh, so you could, uh, you know, if you just wanted to take 200 watts on say like a backpacking trip, or you had a situation where you needed to split up uh, for, you know, uh, for whatever reason, maybe, uh, you know, your friend needs 200 watts on his, in his campsite and you need 200 in yours. There's a whole host of different reasons why you'd want to do that. Space limitations um, uh, or, or what, what have you. Uh, or you can uh, use it uh, as just one big 400 watt panel. It's super, super neat and I'll show you how all that works. Um, unfortunately, uh, I didn't uh, get a chance to do a proper unboxing. Um, but the box did arrive in uh, perfect shape. I had zero damage to either the box or any of the components. Um, but my uh, my box got wet during a, a, a unexpected uh, storm, um, and uh, so I, I couldn't really show you the box. But it comes uh, perfectly packaged, uh, not not a dent on the box or or, or anything like that. Um, the uh, inside the box, uh, the panel was in this bag that I just took it off, just so I could show you. And then also. Um, inside um, part of the kit, uh, they call it um, the OptiSolex brick. And what that is, is, um, you know, in my situation, I don't use this because I have a power station that has its own controller inside that regulates and, and distributes the power. But if you're in an RV or something like that or have a deep cycle battery, uh, you would need some type of a, a charge controller. And that's what this guy is right here. Uh, it hooks into the panel and then this hooks directly uh, into uh, your deep cycle battery. So in, I do have the box for it. And inside you get a, uh, a instruction manual. And then in this little box right here are some tools if you want to mount this to like a top of an RV. You got a little spanner tool in there. Uh, some uh, some bolts and some washers and some nuts and stuff like that. So that's what's inside this box um, It's not applicable to me, but it may be applicable to you uh, So we'll just set that aside for now And then you also get a uh, large uh, uh, cable um, Again with uh, D-ring uh, connectors um, This hooks into the uh, to the Solex brick that I just showed you and then you hook these uh, D-ring um, connectors uh, into your battery so that's how that works uh, super long I think it's about 25 feet each so plenty of uh, length there and uh, so we'll set that aside we won't be using either of those two things uh, for our purposes oh, we'll just be using uh, the bag um, so uh, it's made uh, for uh, all different kinds of people people like me that I don't have an RV I don't have a deep cycle battery I just have a very large uh, uh, power station 3000 watt power station so, um, or it's made for people who don't have a power station. It's made for people in RVs that have the deep cycle battery. So the panel, as you can see, it's pretty small. Um, it only weighs 16 and a half pounds. That's like half the weight and size of pretty much any other competitor uh, on the market. Um, so, um, uh, and it, uh, it clips down uh, into kind of a, a brief, uh, brief, briefcase style. Uh, you got uh, two sets of connectors because, like I said, you can unzip this panel and use it for uh, two 200 watt panels. So you have to have connectors on both halves. So this is uh, the, uh, the pouch uh, for this side. And inside this pouch, you have a couple of shoulder straps. So we'll put those aside. Get rid of this bag. And then your uh, MC4 connectors. Now my power station uses um, Anderson connectors, so I just had to get a MC4 uh, to um, Anderson uh, adapter cable. So, um, and um, this panel, you can either do that or you can charge devices directly. Um, you've got two uh, USB A's and one USB C on both sides, so that means you could charge six different devices at once. Uh, so you got two uh, USB A's, one USB C, and then two more USB A's and one more USB C on the other side. Uh, so that's that side, and then if you flip it around, a smaller pouch because you don't have uh, shoulder straps or anything like that in this side. You just have the same MC4 
connectors and again there's your two USB A's and your one USB C. So the way to make this panel work as one big panel you just wire these up in series. Let me zip that back up and I didn't need to. And the way you do that is you take the positive of one side of the panel to the negative of the other. Hook it together. And now you would just take your adapter cable um, and then hook those into your adapter cable and or if your uh, power station uh, has MC4 connectors you can just plug these right directly into your power station. Um, and I'll show you that here in a second. So, um, and we'll unzip it and everything like that. So that's pretty much it for the unboxing. Um, and I can't wait to show you uh, this thing in action. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, walk through the uh, setup process. It's pretty uh, simplistic. Remember, we've already got it wired up in series, both halves of the, uh, of the panel, both 200 watt halves to make 400 watts. So the first thing you do is you start unclipping uh, your uh, little clips here that hold it together when it's folded. And then you just start unfolding. Kind of remember where you know your cables are, but if you don't remember where they are, and you have to search for them, this is a pretty good footprint, so you kind of have to step on it occasionally uh, in order to get where you need to go or lean down on it to find where your cables are, right? Which are right here. Um, it's okay. Uh, it's not gonna hurt it. Um, this thing is uh, pretty durable, um, and uh, it's IP65 rated uh, on the top side, uh, which means it's splash resistant, so if you're foolish like me and you have a water source around and you just happen to you know splash water all over it uh, don't worry about that because uh, it's not gonna hurt it um, you just don't want to submerge it because the underneath is where all your electronics are so if you you know spill something on it or it gets wet or maybe comes a, a light rain uh, shower um, just uh, just wipe it off it'll be fine trust me I would have never done that with my old panel that I had. All right. And the sun will take care of the rest. So from that point on, um, I've got my adapter cable here. I've already got it plugged into my power station. MC4 to Anderson, as I mentioned. And then you just find your connectors, uh, negative to negative or black to black positive to positive or red to red and that's it unfold it um, and then get out of the way and uh, you'll start charging which it is I'll bring the camera in closer so you can see that you can either uh, keep it down lying flat like uh, like I've got here uh, it's got all these uh, kind of uh, loop enclosures on all four sides so you can hang it on the side of your vehicle or on the side of a picnic gazebo or light flat on top of an awning or anything like that so uh, that's it for the setup uh, let's bring the camera in and see what we're getting all right we are at like 10 a.m. 10 30 and we're already at 310 watts, 311. So by noon, we're gonna be 340 to 350 at least. Okay, so now what I'm going to show is uh, how to use uh, the, uh, the panels uh, independently from each other. So essentially take it from one big 400 watt panel, which is still wired up in series right here, still connected to my power station, which has found its way back into the vehicle. Uh, so we're going to unzipper this, uh, take it back out of series, make two independent panels, and then I'm going to charge six devices off of it. Uh, three from um, one side, three from the other, two USB, uh, 
C's on one side, one USB-A, and then two more USB-C's and one more USB-A. A total of six devices total. So first off, I'm gonna unplug it from my vehicle right here. And then I'm just gonna sit down on it to show you again that uh, light pressure is not gonna hurt it. We're gonna take it back out of series, which is essentially just unhook everything. Because these connectors won't come into play uh, since we're gonna be charging devices directly from the panel. So these aren't gonna be hooked up to anything. So that's my adapter cable. I'm just gonna toss it aside. And then there's a zipper down the middle. You unzipper it. And now you have two independent 200 watt panels. Uh, and they're much easier to handle this way too. So I'm just gonna flip it over to get to uh, access to the charging ports. Here is my first USB-C, which is my iPad. I'm gonna plug that up. Apple Watch, which is USB C, and then my other USB A, which is my fan. So, right, the cable's not very long, so I only have to unplug it from the fan just so I can flip this over. cable again. Put that guy back up. It is charging. My iPad is charging. And then there is my watch. I'm charging three devices from this side. Flip it over to get to the access to the ports. That is my Kindle, which is our Bluetooth speaker, and my power bank, which is the USB C. connected. I can even yeah, take that one away, take it down the road if I wanted to. There's my speakers charging. A little green LED light there if you can see it. Probably can't. It means my power bank's charging. It takes the most energy, the most wattage. And then my Kindle. The LED's on on that as well. So uh, that's how to do that, and then uh, let's just say I wanted to charge these three devices from this 200 watt panel. It's already ready to go, but I really don't have uh, any need to charge any devices directly from this one. I still want to use 200 watts of it to go back to my power station, so I'm just going to unplug my three devices here. back to those uh, MC4 solar connectors. Right here. And since we've only got this one half of the panel, I don't need to put it in series, I just hook it directly in to my adapter cable, which runs to my power station. So now I have 200 watts going back to my power station and my vehicle while this one continues to charge those three devices. So it's very versatile. Uh, it's very easy to handle when they're separate like this. There's a lot of different use uh, scenarios that you could do with this. Um, let's say you needed to uh, 
you were just going to go on a quick two day trip uh, camping and you just needed 200 watts with you, or maybe other 200 watts at home to charge something at your house, or you just, uh, you're camping and you're going on a backpacking trip and you just need to take 200 watts with you in your backpack uh, to charge your devices while you're on your hiking trip, while the other half of the uh, panel stays back at base camp to charge your power station or some other device. Uh, or two separate people are going backpacking and they each need 200 watts each. Uh, you could just go, come up with scenarios all day long for this thing. So uh, that's how to do that. And uh, the next thing we're gonna do is uh, put it back together as a 400 watt panel because that's uh, what I'm uh, needing to use for it today. Um, and it's just the reverse process. Unplug it from my vehicle first. Unplug the MC4 connectors, flip it back around, line it back up, zip it over here, unplug these guys. back to one big panel just need to wire it back in series and again the way to do that is to take a negative from one side and a positive from the other and that's all there is to it and then to wire it into your power station it's the opposite. It's positive to positive, negative to negative. And then plug it back up. Unfold it and you're back to a 400 watt panel again. Pretty spiffy. So that's a demonstration on that. Again, you can walk on this, kneel down on it. Splash water on it, um, just don't get too crazy with it, and you'll be fine. <laughs>